Well, how far would you go to get medical care? One man's heart condition had him so miserable he traveled 6,000 miles with surgery twice. Twice. He could have had the same procedure at home in Chile, but as Como Force Molly Shen reports, he put his life in the hands of surgeons at Overlake Hospital in Bellevue. Uh, when Eduardo Engler describes the last decade, the last 10 years really were very beautiful day, years. As beautiful. He is talking about life at home in Chile after a surgery at Overlake Hospital. In 2005, he was here for a procedure to fix his irregular heartbeat. It was a humbling thing that somebody would travel that far because he thought that you'd achieve the level of, of experience and success in a condition. And, and, and because of that, we were determined to help him in any way we could. When Eduardo recently started experiencing symptoms again, he knew it was time time for another 6,000 mile trip and another three hour surgery, taking advantage of advances in technology since his first time on the table. The last year I felt very bad again and so I decided to come again and to, to fix it. He may not sleep well, he's not feeling well mentally and that really affects anybody's work. To fix the heart arrhythmia, this week Dr. Derek Rodriguez and his team ran a thin tube from Eduardo's leg up to his heart. He sent a blast of radio frequency energy into the tissue, destroying the source of the arrhythmia. It's called catheter ablation. I thought they went very well. In fact, I uh, met with him uh, a few minutes ago and, and it was two thumbs up. We feel very confident that we've been able to take care of this for him in a definitive fashion. In other words, he is most likely cured. It's a new life for me, <laughs> really. A new life, a return to a beautiful life. Molly Shen, Como 4 News. Fixing an arrhythmia used to require major open heart surgery. Now, because the tube is so tiny, patients don't even need a single stitch afterwards. That is incredible.